Hey guys, welcome back. I've done a couple of hard videos so on addiction and medication etc. So I wanted to do a video to kind of give me a bit of a uplift and lift me up a bit. So I wanted to um, show you my guitars that I bought pre-stroke. You all know that I was a really good guitarist before the stroke and I wanted to show you what guitars I own and what I learned on. So my original guitar was just a cheap Chinese Stratocaster copy that I ended up smashing. Um, it just got broken, so I threw it in the bin. I mainly learnt on this one. This is an Ibanez uh, acoustic with a picker. I'm learning again. guitar, I play this guitar a lot. Um, second is my, I think it's an 83 or 84 Fender Strat. I absolutely love this guitar. Um, it's got a really thin neck which helps after stroke to learn guitar. Um, I will do a, a guitar lesson-ish after stroke if you want to try and learn guitar after stroke. Um, it's it's going to be really hard to be honest, but I'm getting there. I practice for at least half an hour a day guitar and it, it really helps getting my shoulder and my hand moving. Just going from just being able to tune a guitar after a stroke is really hard. Really, really hard. So there you go, 83 Stratomacaster. Um, this one's got lots of dents. It's got lots of wear. It gets dragged around the wooden floorboards by my two-year-old and left on the floor and it doesn't really matter. Um, you can put this through hell. Really good guitar. Next. So while I was in high school, I was in my final year and they kind of said, you're not doing very good. It's not looking like you're going to get into university. But we will give you a, a year 12 VCE pass if you um, you come to class, participate, and if you do okay in one or two subjects. So I combined an engineering subject and a woodworking subject, and for year 12, I made a guitar. Um, so I completely made this. I bought the neck, I bought all the hardware, I did it all myself. I bought the length of wood, so it's a two piece body. So I just, um, I got a Fender Telecaster neck. But it's, it's got a really chunky seam where I can pick up in that really chunky guitar. Sounds great. Um, but ended up passing year 12 because of this guitar. So that was good. The next one is the most re recent acquisition. Um, it's a 2016 Les Paul Standard Honey Burst. If you're a guitar collector like me, you have to have a Les Paul. Um, it's illegal to not have a Les Paul. You have to have one. It sounds really good. It's a really chunky guitar. And last but not least, what's in the box? This, my friend, is my favourite guitar, but I never play it. Um, it's just, it's worth a lot, and I just, I don't know, I, I never play it. It's a Paul Reed Smith. It's a pre-lawsuit custom 22, um, single cut obviously, they only made a very limited number of these before Gibson took them to court, so this is one of very few. Um, I even found that when I bought it, I found the bill of sale from PayPal because I bought it on eBay. Um, I figured out I was 21 years old. And it was worth a lot back then, so I paid $4,000 for it in 2009, which was a lot of money for a guitar back then. But I, I, saw, I saw this guitar in a magazine and it had to be one. I saw it on eBay pop up, buy it now in America, and I just bought it. I was supposed to be saving for a house, but I just bought it and I absolutely love this guitar. It's mint condition, absolutely love it. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. Um, worth a lot of money. So they, I bought it off eBay from a guitar shop in America. I don't know where, 
my generation guitars, if any of you have heard of them. Um, back in 2009, they're probably not in operation anymore. They named it the 2002 Piera Single Cut 10 Top Birds Pre-Lawsuit. So the pre-lawsuit is the main thing because there's not many of these left. Um, I don't know how much it's worth now. It was worth a lot back then. So people say, oh, you're a bit impulsive after the stroke. Well, when I was 21 years old, I paid $4,000 for a guitar sight unseen on the spot from a different country. So how's that for impulsive? Okay, so that was six years prior to the stroke. Ah, oh, there's my guitars. So the Paul Reed Smith comes with a very nice case, including all the case candy from brand new. The original bill of sale. I absolutely love this guitar. Um, there's not many of them left on earth. I'll never ever sell this guitar. Just look at the colour of it. It's a maple top. Look at the birds on the fretboard. Honestly, Paul Reed Smith, they can make guitars. Have a look at that. Stunning. So 2002, serial number, uh, 10 means it's a maple top with the top 10. Um, yeah, beautiful guitar. So I hope you really enjoyed that, guys. Um, yeah, just my guitar collection basically so far. I might, as I get better at guitar, um, I'll do some videos on how I'm trying to practice and learn. Remember, seven years ago, I couldn't move this arm at all. It was about 16 months from memory from the stroke until I had a first flicker. One flicker of movement in a finger, 16 months. So it takes a long time. When I told my occupational therapist, she said, what are your goals? I said, I'm gonna learn guitar. And she said, I'm not sure. She goes, I don't know if that's gonna work, um, but I will learn guitar, I will relearn. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that guy, that video, guys. Just remember that people can be impulsive, stroke or no stroke. That was pretty impulsive, wasn't it? Buying a guitar, sight unseen, I was 21 years old. I was supposed to be saving for a house, but I saw this guitar, $4,000, and bought it on the spot. No stroke, straight impulsivity. I've still got the guitar and I absolutely love it. Thanks, guys.